if you're a guy and you were raised Christian and you're straight and most of the things you like are more standard, it isn't likely to strike you as important for there not to be religious crap, religious values, religious standards pushed onto the people. There's also a chance you may not remember how bad it was just 30 years ago. Well, obviously, if you're not old enough to remember that either, but, I mean, for those that are old enough to remember, uh, some of you may not have nearly as bad of a view of how, of it, how it was uh, 30 years ago as someone like myself or like a number of others who do not fit that mold of what you're supposed to be if you're to be Christian. I mean, even simply being a creative thinker is considered bad. If you like to think about a lot of different scenarios, oh, that's bad. You know, because they teach that to even think something sinful is a sin. So, you know, well, you have bad thoughts, therefore you're a bad person. That kind of shit, too. I mean, it, it, it can encompass a lot of people, but there are some who, who fit it just fine. And for all the people who fit those standards just fine, you never really felt what it was like to have standards that go against your very being pushed onto you. You never had to feel that. You had to feel a lot of other things, but you never had to feel that. For those who do, are not on the favoring side, who are not in the demographic on the favoring side of those things, they see this stuff very well. Women are not on the favoring side of these things. Women, you know, there's a, if someone is raised religious, if a woman is raised religious, there's this point, if you, if you eventually come out of that religion, there is a point where you, you, you go, holy shit, I, it's okay for me to feel assertive or be assertive or be aggressive. It's okay for me to feel all these feelings over here. Maybe some of you don't, just don't realize how powerful religion is, even in this country. Maybe you just don't realize it because you look at the extreme of what Islam is in the Middle East and you go, oh, well, oh, we're just great and fine and dandy. But there's still there's still a lot of oppression going on and it's not as direct as it used to be it's not some glaring blatant thing that you can just point at and and definitively say now that's you know that's wrong and we shouldn't have that it's it's just more in attitudes that are still about that are still around attitudes about women attitudes about gay people Sometimes attitudes about people of other races, because people have used uh, religion to back up just about any kind of belief, and they'll they'll use this or that passage to back up any sort of any sort of bigotry that they have. But to those who aren't affected very much either way by if religion gets crammed down everyone's throats, none of this stuff seems that important. I can understand why those who are of that demographic would feel that well, well islam's the real the real thing we have to worry about and a lot of that is because you would not be affected so it's not something you put a lot of thought into i'm not saying everyone feels this way <laughs> who's of that demographic by any stretch there are a lot of people who really try to think about this stuff and i appreciate them very much and i think women appreciate those people very much People who are negatively affected by the some of the traditional beliefs of Abrahamic uh, religions, we we thank you that that some of you actually think about this stuff still. I understand. Yes, you know when it comes to our rights, we you know we have most of this uh, legally. You know uh, legal rights stuff is pretty much equal now. The leftovers, man, the leftovers, they're, they're harsh still. There are still a lot of people, a lot of suicides of, of gay teens 
because they're, they know their family won't support them if they come out. They may be involved in churches that I might do terrible things to them in the name of religion. There are still a lot of people who raise girls very, very specifically to be very, very submissive, very demure, very controllable. Essentially, don't be too uppity. It still goes on all the fucking time, all over the fucking place, here in the United States. Still goes on today, regularly. And yet, women don't have anything to complain about. Plenty of stuff left over. Plenty of reasons for there to be feminism. Has feminism went a direction I don't like? Yeah, and a lot of people don't like a lot of the directions that feminism has went. And it's unfortunate because, as I'm saying in this video, there are still a lot of things that, that need to be worked on. There's still a lot of leftovers. And we are the, those of us that can is still experience some of the leftovers of some of this stuff are the ones that feel it the most if society starts going backwards. And we are feeling it the most. But somehow, it's just, oh, you're just whining. Oh, that's just identity politics. We're concerned that things are going to go to shit for us. Well, it'll be just fine for you. Well, what are you worried about? That's why some of us are pissed. That's why some of us talk about privilege. That's why, that's why so many people are so avid about this stuff. Why people are so ready to protest. Why they're so angry. Why they're so pumped up. Because we're the ones, people like myself, we're the ones that are going to be hurting the most out of this. Oh, but because it doesn't affect the, the, the most important demographic, well, it, it will stop worrying about it. It doesn't affect you, so, so uh, uh, you know, we're just doing identity politics because we're talking about stuff that affects us. Because if it starts affecting the majority demographic, we have to do something now, right now. And no time before then. Because, well, it's not important enough, right? Identity politics and moderation is okay. There are, ex there are definitely extremes that it can be taken where there's no way that anyone can pacify some of the people that are making some, some of these demands. Everything in moderation. We're the ones that are going to feel the most if we allow religious extremists or fundamentalists to implement their viewpoints into law. And that's why it's so important to protest against this administration. We can't show the world that we stand for this. The Trump administration is, in some ways, it's kind of a movement. A movement of all the shit. The clients at your yeah. staff yeah. is speaking Spanish to customers when they should no, be speaking. Very violent. I mean, very sometimes very they do. Very yeah. Yeah. Very Every person I listen to. He's spoken, he's spoken, she's speaking it. It's America. If they have the balls to come here and live off of my money, I pay for their welfare, I pay for their ability to be here. You Honey, I'm calling ice. ice. Call ice. ice. So that they can speak Maybe you shouldn't eat that sandwich today. Take a break from the food. That we have thought that we were past. And now it's here again, and we're supposed to just sit back and watch it become more powerful. As Abrahamic traditionalism, gets the green light on everything. No. No. That's not the way to make America great.